Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be doing yet another pack opening. Surprisingly, although today is Thursday, we do have the Eternal Command packs now available on the cartel market. I did expect these things to come out on Tuesday, however uh, all the Life Day stuff came on Tuesday so now we're getting the uh, command packs and they're on for the sales price of 4,680 cartel coins. Now as you guys can see I do have quite a few cartel coins sitting there and I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a game. For this pack we have some really nice stuff. We have the Imperial Admiral's armor set which I personally really want for my agent but most importantly we have the Unstable Peacemaker's lightsaber and the reason I like this lightsaber so much is because they actually fix the Unstable effect. Uh, with the Unstable Arbiter saber the Unstable effect made it really thin of a blade and I don't like that. Uh, but for this one, the saber looks really nice, and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to keep opening cartel packs until I get the unstable saber. So it's as simple as that. I'm going to keep opening them. I have 25,000 cartel coins, and I'll spend all of them if I need to in order to get the unstable peacemaker saber. The upside for me is I hope to get the unstable peacemaker saber in a reasonable number of packs. The upside for you guys is all the other stuff aside from the uh, peacemaker saber i will give away through my guild giveaways so let's get right into the pack opening everything that you see here that's not the unstable saber if i do end up getting it will be given away going right into the start here we had some junk there we had two uh, chance cubes coming out of one cartel pack and now all the other stuff you see here i'm going to really uh rush through it i'm not going to really uh, wait to see stuff i mean we could check it all out at the end but it uh, seems to be quite a lot of junk right now all this silver stuff that's one thing about this pack filled with junk uh, but there's also some really nice stuff embedded there the mounts are really nice as well i don't oh another two uh grand chance cubes wow that's not really supposed to happen in these packs you're supposed to be getting a uh, around an average 15 and so it's you know one per every two packs basically on average all right junk 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 all this bronze stuff is uh, complete junk Really, out of these cartel packs, you can expect uh, two to three gold items on average, and uh, you don't know, right? Those could be decorations as well, so you're kind of hoping that the gold items you do get out of a cartel pack are the good ones, but uh, right now, all I'm getting is junk. Oh, here we go, gold. Oh, wow, a double gold. Uh, bold Hellion's upper body armor, and then the Imperial Admiral supplementary. Oh, man. Ugh, ugh. I really wanted the Imperial Admiral's upper. Uh, the supplementary just contains the helmet, so that's completely useless, but there we go. We got two gold items, so hopefully we're going to be getting some more gold items out of this pack. I would hate for it to just be just those two, really. And the Alliance Emissary, you guys saw that silver armor set. That's a really nice one, so props on Bioware. They created a really nice silver armor set. Oh, we have four more packs left, so let's see here. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Another double gold, and they're both the mounts. We have the Savage Flown and then the Thema Sith Spawn. Wow, that is a lucky drop. And yet another gold item, the Sakulin Fountain. Wow, all my gold items seem to have just moved to the end. Oh, no way. Yet another gold item. The K1Z3N Operator. Is this one gold as well? Oh, wow, okay. So all my gold items happened at the end there, but, um, but no Unstable Saber, which means we are getting another Hyper Crate. However, let's quickly pick out some of the stuff from the uh, item stash here so that I can show you guys what some of the stuff looks like. Alright, so I think I got everything out of the item stash that was uh, of value. Keep in mind, all the stuff that I've claimed from the item stash will be given away. And that's one of the reasons I'm even claiming it from the item stash, is so I can get the cooldown timer going. And so if you do, if any of this appeals to you, and you want to have a chance at winning it, uh, just join my giveaway guild. Uh, this my recent uploads, uh, I have a lot of videos dealing with uh, how to join and everything like that. But anyways, going on to the actual items. Not a bad haul at all, honestly. Um, as I said, you can expect around three gold items per hyper crate. So the fact that I got a ton at the end there was really lucky. And some of those cartel packs, I got like two gold items out of out of one cartel pack, which is really unheard of nowadays with the RNG. And uh, what's even more funny is, out of one cartel pack, I got both of the gold mounts. So really, what are the chances of that? One of the gold mounts in this pack are, is super ugly. Uh, it's that TC Voyager one. I think that looks terrible. That could be a bronze mount for all I care. It is not gold worthy. But I'm really lucky that I got both of the beast mounts. Those are the really nice ones. And um, I see this Nathema Sith Spawn being a very, very popular mount. I personally thought 100% it was going to be the Wrathful Rancor, but it was not. All right, so let's go on to the next cartel pack opening. Uh, we have some really nice stuff here for the giveaway, honestly. I think that uh, Operator Requisition, the Nathema Sith Spawn, and the Savage Flown are going to make for a great giveaway. And the Bold Hellion Upper Body Armor. I did end up getting that, and when I first saw that armor set, I was thinking to myself, 
it's not the nicest, but uh, but a lot of people have been expressing a lot of interest in it because it does reveal your upper torso and stuff, and really any revealing type of armor in this game tends to sell for a lot. And I can see that being a very nice armor piece for an Imperial Agent or something, so. Alright, let's get right into this pack. And uh, no surprise there, we started off with some junk, but uh, hopefully we'll have the same luck as I did with that last pack and get a ton of gold stuff. And this one... Oh, no way. Wow, the uns... Stable Peacemaker's lightsaber already? Wow. To be honest, guys, I expected to go through at least three or four hyper crates before I even had a chance at getting one. And even then, I could have gone with the dual saber, but nope, pulled out the lightsaber. Wow. I tried to uh, suppress my excitement there because I don't want to, you know, scream. Oh, another gold item. Another Nathema Sith spawn. Wow. This is turning out to be a very lucky pack opening. Trust me, guys. Normally, I do not have this luck when it comes to pack opening. I have lots of videos on my channel that prove that. But this time around, it seems to be that I'm really lucky. Yeah, I tried to suppress my excitement. I don't want to scream right into the mic and hurt your guys' ears. Um, but, uh, wow, no, in, inside of me right now, I'm just really happy I actually pulled out that lightsaber. The one, you know. Normally, guys, if you want one item, do not open a cartel pack to, to hope for that one item. Chances are you're not going to get it. But this time around, just having that conviction that I'm going to open as many cartel packs as it takes to get that, that uh, seemed to have made a difference. However, it seems as though the RNG is saying you got your platinum item, now everything else you're getting is junk because all this stuff is junk. Really, this Arctic Scout stuff that keeps reappearing, oh, come on, that's going to sell for like nothing. I don't even think anyone would want it in a giveaway, I mean. I personally think if I put that in a guild bank, people would look at it and be like, nah, why would I waste my one withdraw on something like that? But the Alliance Emissary you see me getting there, that's a really nice one. Why can't Bioware make more silver armor sets like that? Another double chance cube from one cartel pack. Uh, junk, junk, junk. We'll check out some of these. Um, I just preview some of these uh, decorations. They're pretty nice. They're okay. Okay, no other... Um, oh, we did end up finishing there. Sometimes I just keep clicking the thing, and then I don't even realize when I've, when I've finished uh, opening them. So we'll quickly claim everything from the item stash that was new, and so you guys can see what the overall haul was. As I was saying... Um, the decorations actually tend to be very nice. I was previewing some of them earlier, and uh, what I saw in the Oppressor's Cartel Pack, which is the one before this, and now what I'm seeing with this one, is a lot of the bronze decorations and silver decorations are really, really nice. Uh, Bioware has really stepped up their game with those. And you can tell by the fact that bronze decorations sell for in the hundreds of thousands of credits, and that's unheard of for a bronze item, uh, considering how, um, how common they are. However, yeah, they sell for a ton, so... That's one of the upsides of opening these packs with decorations. You can get a lot of good stuff uh, and a lot of credits from these decorations. Anyways, I'll quickly skip to the point when I have claimed everything from the item stash. Alright, so I think I got everything. I could have sworn I had gotten the Imperial Admiral supplementary body armor, but I can't seem to find it for some reason. Uh, so yeah, overall this is the haul. Not too bad at all. Got some really nice gold stuff. Did end up getting the Platinum Saber, which was absolutely insane like literally that is really really lucky i really like how this looks it looks like it has a permanent uh, lightning weapon tuning on it basically that's how it looks and as you guys can see i'll compare it quickly with the unstable arbiter saber here look how thin that blade is that's the one thing i don't like about this unstable effect but it really seems to have changed with the unstable arbiter saber I mean, sorry, it really seems to have changed with the Unstable Peacemaker saber here where the blade seems a lot more thicker and so i think a lot more appealing uh, one quick thing is I did expect to open more cartel packs. I was I was expecting it, um, but since I did get the unstable saber early, I think what I'll do is I will quickly get another hyper crate and I will open it. And so um, quickly jump into the tab here and pick it up. And the point of opening it is the uh, cooldown timer will start. And then I think I'll just give away these 26 packs individually or maybe in sets of two uh, in the guild. And that way, maybe you guys can try your luck at getting something nice. I doubt that you'll be able to pull the saber from just two packs, but uh, but maybe you'll get the Nathema Sith spawn or something nice like that. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are looking forward to the giveaway and I will see you in the next one.